Welcome back to Keeper RL and Clarice uh, of the Mist. Uh, in our last episode, uh, we acquired an artificer, an insane artificer. So this person will have, or this goblin, will have uh, up to 50 forge. So we've put a little crafting area here for this guy. And so what we're going to do today is attempt to find some adamantine. Uh, even though we can't, we can't even use it yet because we need to get... Uh, Oh no, actually we can. No, I take it back. We can. With this forge, we can make adamantine stuff uh, if we have the adamantine. So, uh, or adamantium. I, it's used kind of um, interchangeably in this game. So, we're going to start digging down. Let's go to our lowest level, because we haven't found any yet, and open this up. And uh, today's episode, what are we on, normal speed? Let's pick that up. Uh, today's episode is, is going to be all about building out. Whether it is getting the adamantium like I discussed or uh, building out new bedrooms or that sort of thing. I don't think we're going to go raiding, although one never knows with, with me or Clarice. You know, Clarice may decide, no, 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 it's time to raid. Uh, let's go over here. You guys are digging that out. Oh, and then Taro Opera suggested that I maybe, here, let's pause for a minute, that looking at these guys, because they're mentally unstable, they may become insane when witnessing the death of an ally, so they may not be the best guys to to have as our prisoners. So we're probably going to try and uh, have them meet uh, untimely ends, so to speak, and uh, see what we can do about that. Uh, but we obviously, we, we like them doing work for us, so we, we want to replace them with people as needed. So let's, um, oh, who are these guys? Let's see. Oh, we, we, we are sort of at our population limit right now. Wolf companion plus five when drunk. Two extra wings. I like the idea of being able to fly over water, but we're not going to worry about that for now. Let's go to the structure menu. We're going to go down another set of stairs here. Uh, I will I will grab this gold because why not? Oh, boy, we have a lot of gold. How are we doing for iron? We're, we're Actually, we're good for all resources. There's a question mark here. You know what? I'm not going to grab anything because then we're just potentially going to expose ourselves to a question mark. Okay. Or to bad guys. Uh, question marks are in and of themselves just as punctuation probably not so dangerous. Um, you know, not like those nasty exclamation points. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Punctuation jokes. You know, this is why you come to this channel. Let's go very fast. Oh, we do also want to uh, today, I actually want to create um, Jonathan Wazowski. Wazowski? Oh my gosh, I've now slaughtered his last name. I apologize, Jonathan. Uh, reminded me, or told me last time, that any bedroom at all, any dedicated quarters for any of our minions will help. So I want to build a bunch of small quarters uh, that we can throw them in, and then we'll keep the other, you know, we'll get them out of the barracks and we'll keep the others for luxury quarters for the, the snobbish minions. Okay, no, uh, no, um, no adamantium on this level. Let's go back up to level one and start with our bedrooms. We're going to make a bunch of small bedrooms. So let me plan those out. We'll do like three by threes, I think. Yeah, these are good. And then maybe we can, let's see, even though it's a little bit strange because it's not aligned and, you know, I'm a little bit OCD. We're gonna do a pair of them. Whoops, no, 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 we don't wanna do that. We want, oh, oh no, <laughs> okay. Let's create a corridor uh, between these. So, uh, uh, wall, corridor, wall. There we go, three by three. We'll throw this here. Oh, okay, nope, okay, change of plan. Yep, change of plan. This time we are not going to make the corridor. So we might have to go down further because we're on that first level. So maybe we'll just do that down a level. Although, let's see. Maybe we can just create these these 3x3 three three rooms along here. We'll let our imps dig them out. We won't worry about these for now. We'll see how much we can get done. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll still throw them up here. Yeah. Whoops. 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 Okay. Okay. See, we're hitting something here. So we're going to get rid of that. And we'll let our imps dig stuff out. 
Let's see if we get stopped on that. No, it looks like they're going to be able to do that. So we'll do a door here, a door here. We'll just have all this stuff get dug out by our imps and our slaves. Uh, okay, let's go down to the bottom level. Ten. And do we have... What is this? Oh, no. No, it's just a funny-shaped... Yeah, it's just funny-shaped stone. Okay, let's... Uh, I'm not even going to try... Oops, excuse me. I'm not even going to try digging out any of these resources. I don't care about them right now. We're just going to keep digging down until we find some anime team. What is this guy? Vampire warrior with resistant to fire and entertainer. Wow. Hmm. These are very tempting. I'm not going to worry about it yet. Dig, my little friend. I wonder if actually... I should stop digging the bedrooms. Yeah, they'll get dug out quickly enough, and then that way, when we are digging down, we'll get, uh, we'll, these guys will work pretty quickly. Okay, we're gonna throw the stairs on this side this time. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll throw them here. Torch here. Torch there. Torch there. And torch there. Whoops, no, 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 that's the wrong place. Ah. There we go. Yeah, we're not going to worry about any of you guys. Yes, next level, we're down to 11. And no, we're not finding anything. I mean, well, we're finding stuff, but... So the, the risk here is that uh, if we go up a level and we see there's a question mark here and a question mark here and a question mark here, it's possible that we will be invaded by by those uh by those people so we want to be careful but i'm also not good at being careful so and Cl and clarice as we established last episode is a risk taker so she also is not careful let's go back up to level one see how our bedrooms are coming out oh great okay obviously the first and most important part is throwing in these torches Oh no, too many torches. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, okay, so this opened up into something. Oh, it's not water though. Well, then maybe I could have done our, our bedrooms along here. Well, we could figure that out. Let's, uh, uh, let's get back down to level 11 and go over here. And torches, obviously. And downstairs. Dig those out for me, people. Okay, we're down. Oh, okay. We have a little patch of trees. Wow, no adamantium, but a question mark very close to uh, where we've dug down, to our stairway. So let's dig this out. We're going to be on watch, on guard for... Uh, bad dudes. Interesting. I think we. I think we can't. Well, it does look like it's walled off. So I'm. I think I'm gonna push it. I think I'll push it. We'll just go ahead and and cross our fingers. See the the benefit of taking this risk is if we are attacked by somebody on one of these lower levels, we may already have an adamantine equipment so then we can fight them off or fend fend them off more easily oh this is interesting hmm okay well we're gonna keep digging down let that happen let's go back up here and finish some of this uh bedroom quarters building stuff so we'll put in some walls we'll just do wooden walls i'm not really worried about anybody raiding this area uh let me see and, oh, you know what we should do, though? Because when I tried to create this... Oh, no, that's just wrong. Hold on. When I tried to create this... Oh, no, we can dig it out. Oh, that's so strange. I wonder why I thought we were running into something over here. Let's dig all this... Oh, wait, that's all wrong. Okay, I'm, I, I, I promise you I will get my head together. Okay, there we go. I was off by one. There we go. Okay. Set up these rooms. 
Torch, torch, torch. Torch, torch. I mean, obviously you have to have a, a certain amount of style in your in your quarters. Because if you don't have style, what do you have? Oh no, did this imp get trapped over here? Oh my gosh, you silly imp. We're going to take control of you and see if we can move you around over here. You did get trapped over here, you buffoon. <laughs> okay, let's exit control mode and mark, <laughs> mark this for destruction. Go ahead and take that out, imp. Okay, now we're gonna. <laughs> that's ridiculous. All right, now we're gonna put in a wooden wall and hope that he does not. Oops, wait a minute. Wooden wall <laughs> and hope that he does not. Oh, why did we pause? I didn't mean to pause. Uh, and hope that this guy. Yes, he's gonna stay on the right side of that. So that's better. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, here we go. We got our torches in place. Oh, get over there. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm not even going to try to make them pretty. We're just going to lay down wooden floor along here. Wooden floor along here. Oops, did not do torches here. And we're, we will put doors because I think, even though I, I think it doesn't matter, I think it's only how it's zoned for quarters. I, I think quarters should have doors. I mean, otherwise it's just kind of open. I mean, obviously, if you don't have a door on a room. You know, keen observations here on the on the Hoos playthrough. Let's do basic beds in all of these rooms. And we're not trying to make these super posh. We're really just trying to make it so that everybody gets a bedroom. Instead of being stuck in barracks. So let's see. So if we then create quarters... Uh, you know what? I'm going to slow it down for a minute. Quarters. Quarters. And... Oh, what's this shaman? Resistant to magic and entertainer. Interesting. Okay, let's get back to... Oops, to level 13 now. Yeah. Okay, I think we're, I think we're okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, look at that! Adamantine. I thought this was water. So we've got bad dudes here. So now... Now is the time for us to... This is water, though. Yeah, so we have to be a little careful here. Swimmer. Oh, that might be appropriate for what we're doing now. Let's throw in the torches. And we... Oops. We are not going to dig down yet. Instead, we're going to... Or we're not going to create stairs yet. We're going to create a two-wide tunnel here. I'm going to watch this very carefully. See what happens. Okay, we've got water. I don't know that we necessarily want to bridge it, although let me see. Ah, so the water I think is going to go up here. So let's wipe that out for a second. Let's finish these bed or signing these bedrooms. Uh, let me see. Excuse me. Okay, here we go. You don't have a bedroom. We're just going to go down the list here. My understanding is that what Jonathan said in a comment uh, back on the. Zacharias playthrough is that anybody who has uh, dedicated quarters will already have better stats just by just because they're happier. So everybody's going to get quarters uh, except for the artificer. We don't care. Uh, and Clarice, she can get her. Uh, oh, hmm. Wait a second. Wait a second. This vampire. Yeah, we'll put a we'll put uh, a coffin in this one. So we're going to actually assign these quarters to. Ilari, and we'll put uh, these are bang. Okay, uh, the artificer doesn't need quarters. Clarice, uh, we're going to give separate quarters to, as I was saying before, I, I so rudely interrupted myself. Okay, so a lot of people have quarters. What we're going to do now is living. We're, we can put a fine coffin in here for Ilari. And so now most, most of our minions have quarters, which is great. Let's get down here to level 13 and take a look at what's going on. I think we're going to bypass the water. In fact, I'm not even going to take the risk of running into the water. Let's see. Yeah, okay, we're going to try to bypass the water entirely. Yeah, 
Whoops, there we go. Okay, let's pick up the pace a little, please. And we're hoping our guys don't get whacked. And I, I think what uh, Tara was saying was that if one of these dwarves dies, because they have mentally unstable, they may go bonkers on, on all of our other minions. What's this about? This one's insane. Okay, where are we relative? Okay, here's the adamantine. Okay, we're going to do torches and then dig out. Trying to be a little bit cautious. But I'm also terribly impatient. This is a human being. And Clarice is, is, is impatient and a risk taker, so maybe I shouldn't be cautious. I'm so excited to try our, our insane artificer. I've never done that before, so we're going to be able to make adamantine stuff. At least I don't recall. Maybe when I played a couple years ago, but I don't think so. I didn't use it. I didn't know what to do with insane uh, minions. So unless there was another way to create adamantine here, I've, I've never done it. Now these uh, goblin, I mean uh, dwarf peasants, they are not uh, insane or mentally unstable, so we don't have a risk with them. And they also tend to have higher stats, like crafting stats. Hopefully we're not going to get hammered here. Okay, you can see the beginning of a of a corridor here. So we could probably, you know what, we can probably get to this. Let's see if we can get to this stuff without opening a way to the enemies. I mean, I'm making the assumption these are enemies. I don't I don't think there's any other real possibility. And in the Zacharias playthrough, the adamantine near the adamantine there were uh golems so they and they were pretty tough they were pretty tough so this may be the end for clarice but this is how you this is how you do it and i think we're pretty much equipped as well as we can be oh, this would be so exciting yeah get all that stuff please All that stuff. Come on, my minions. Okay, meanwhile, while they're doing that, I'm going to keep an eye out for messages saying somebody's been killed. We are we are going to see if I can create more. Yes, we can. I don't know why I thought I couldn't. Maybe just because I hit that corridor. And we can always make these more... Oh, I'm not sure what's going on here. We can always make these more luxurious. Okay, yeah, there's something going on over here, so we'll see what that is when our when our imps get over there, or our diggers. Uh, but we can always make these more luxurious if we want to later. Oh, what happened? Oh, I went to soft rock. Okay. Oh God, nobody likes soft rock. It's like it's like Muzak of the of the rock world. Okay, there's something happening here. Maybe some water. It's better to find out. Let's see what they what they unearth here. Let's go down to level 13 again. Okay, look, we're still getting this adamantine. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, okay. We're being attacked. Your minions discover the location of adamantine golems. Okay, okay. So, let's just check our... We have... Okay, all of our imps are gone. Some of our prisoners are going to be getting whacked. Which, actually, if these mentally unstable dudes get whacked, that's not really a problem for us. Because... They will attack anybody around them because they'll, they'll go insane. Yeah, see, look, they dug through here. They must have heard us digging their stuff. Okay, so now we're going to gather all of our troops. Let's make sure. Okay, we've got a werewolf in here. We'll bring the vampire warrior down here. Normally we won't, but while we're inside, that's absolutely what we want to do. We can't add prisoners, can we? No, I didn't think we could. Okay, all three wizards, all four warriors, our shaman, and our two priests, and of course, uh, Clarice. And we're going to take control of Gorbag, who's the person we controlled last time. And we're going to go down to level 13. Okay, now we need to be a little bit careful. I'm going to let everybody catch up. There are the golems. So I think we can take them out. Let's check their stats. I'm looking in the lower right-hand corner. Oh, they are pretty buff. So 54 defense. Uh, oh, they have good digging. 
59 attack. And, and if you compare it to our guys, we have 46 defense, or, or Gorbag, who is basically our best one, has 46 defense and 43 attack. So what we're going to do uh, is, oh, vulnerable to magic and slowed, resistant to melee. Okay, that's good to know. We're going to, uh, why can't I order this guy's attack? I mean, order capture. Oh, can we not capture golems? Oh, look at that. I guess we can't capture golems. Yes, hit him with magic. Hit him with magic. Let them come to us. How are we doing? 100% uh, health. Okay. All right. We are Gorbag. Let's attack here. I'm going to keep an eye on the health here. We're not doing any damage. Oh, no, no, no. I hit the wrong key. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Gorbag is taking it here. No damage. Hmm. Okay, let's see. I think I want to take control of a wizard. I could obviously do uh, full control, but I tend to be too impatient for that. <laughs> let's see. I think we just lost someone. Yeah. Okay, what's our range here? Oh, we've already fired our magic missile. Okay, I just want to keep an eye on Clarice. You know what? I'm going to switch to Clarice. Clarice has also fired, but she, but she has three turns left before she can fire again. Okay, let's see if she can use her magic missile. You're at 100%. You're at 71. One injured head, one... Okay, let's do it. Oh, slowed and blind and collapsed. Not too worried about that one, honestly. But better to take some guys out. Oh, okay. Did no damage. Hmm... Let's blow back. Oh. Air blast. Oh, why can't we air blast? Oh, it's the range is, is junk. Oh yeah, the range is junk. Okay, let's move over here. Okay, uh, we're gonna... We're gonna switch you and get you out of here. Oh no, and that werewolf is also getting hammered. Okay, is this Gorbag? No, this is a Morzog. Oh wow, these guys are super tough. Super tough. We need to figure out a choke point. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to have to do full control mode. So right now we're on this warrior. Uh, I mean, this warrior is in bad shape. We're going to pass on this warrior. Okay, what can we do with this shaman? Heal spirit. Fully re re materializes a spirit. No, we have... A, well, okay, I'm going to do it. Heal spirit. Fully rematerializes a spirit. Are any of our spirits in bad shape? No, I'm just going to move you. Oh yeah, this one's actually in bad shape. Anyway, okay, so this wizard, we're going to move this wizard this way. Okay, this is going to be a little bit slow, but I am trying to be patient. Okay, now, how far? Oh, we can't even heal. Poison resistance. Wait, what is this? Advanced cure poison. Cure blindness. Poison resistance. Group heal. Radius of two. Okay, we want to get this priest in here so that, that they can sit back and do some healing behind our guys okay somebody's blinded no why oh yeah what's up with this guy are you blind oh you are blind okay well ilari i feel bad for you but not so bad that i'm going to pull you out of of the way here oh i can't attack if i'm blind no way okay is there a, can i i can't read a scroll obviously because because, <laughs> because i'm blind Okay, so Ilari's just going to be a punching bag. Uh, this is Clarice. Clarice can blow back, but not... Uh, I think this werewolf is just going to be done for. So we're going to blow back that werewolf and just let it get tanked. Oh, that did not do anything like what I wanted. I had no detrimental impact on this on these golems. I just hampered our, our minions, which is not good. Let's uh, use... This is only a range of one. Oh, boy. Okay, we're just... I don't, I, I don't know that that did anything for us. Okay, this wizard is moving up. This wizard's moving up. This priest is moving up. This priest is moving up. Okay, we're back to this blind vampire. They can't do anything, so we're just going to skip. Clarice is going to move up. Who are we on now? We're on this shaman. Shaman can move up here. This wizard can move up here. This wizard can move up here. Okay, now, can this wizard do anything? No. 
They're not damaged, and this healing is only for themselves, I believe. Yeah, and then teleport to any location that's close by, cure poison. I mean, we know what these, these things do. Defense debuff against enemies. Area effect of radius 10. Okay, let's read this. Apply. Did that work? Defense debuff. Yeah, okay. And maybe this one isn't? No, they've all got it. Well, that was good. Okay. You, what can you do? What else do we have here? Another defense debuff. Bad poem. Same deal. Yeah, these are all defense debuffs. I mean, those are useful for sure, but we don't need you to do anything with it yet. Okay, so we're going to pass on you. Can you heal? Can you group heal? It's a range of two. One, two. Okay. All right, we're going to do it. Group heal. Okay, that did not heal the minion. It did heal this warrior. This is Clarice. Clarice can restore her own health, but she can't do anything else of consequence. She can teleport. She really can't do anything else. This is bad. I think we're going to have to retreat. Let's see how this minion does. How is this this knight's vulnerable to magic, immune to acid flying? Yeah, I think I think we've got a problem. This was this was too much for us. Okay, what are you gonna do? I'm not sure what to do with this guy. Okay, we're gonna move up our shaman. Move up this wizard. Yeah, this is this is this is um not a great situation to be in. In fact, I think we're going to get out of Oh, I wanted don't chase on. Okay, we're gonna have everybody go home. I'm actually going to take control of Clarice to make sure she doesn't get into trouble. And I want to keep an eye on... Yeah, so we're we're in we're in a bit of trouble. Oh boy. This is not great. Okay, we're just going to... There's not a lot I can do here, so we're going to go up to level 2. We are going to uh, exit control mode. We lost another minion warrior. We're going to stay paused and we're going to go up to level one and tell, because we should have some adamantine now. We do. We're going to tell our artificer to make some adamantine stuff. Um, let's see, how much do we have? 247. So we can make one sword, one armor, one helm, one boots, one gloves, and one shield. Okay, and that cost us about 140, it looks like. So we're gonna do the same set of stuff. And we're short just a little bit. Oh, the gloves are really cheap. Okay, we'll make a bunch of gloves. Okay, and we're going to recruit this vampire. Hmm. And we're gonna hope that things go well but we're also going to go down a level and keep an eye on right here. Oh, Clarice? Clarice? Wait, 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 wait. Clarice, what are you doing? Okay, you went up. Oof, I thought she went down. Okay, this, this, is, this could be the end because of my lack of patience. I should have... I don't know what I could have done, actually, because we, we were going to encounter those guys anyway, I guess I could have gone and, and taken on some other... Alright, I guess I can't be too picky. We're going to take this wizard. Okay, I don't see any messages up here. I don't see any messages up here saying our guys are dying, so that's good. Um, I guess I could have increased our malevolence. And... Oh, that's this guy. Fine, we'll take this warrior. We're not going to be picky for a little while. Oh, adamantine armor. Okay. Let's wait till there's some more forge stuff. Although I think we're going to put that on Clarice. Uh, oh, Goblin Wizard. Oh, okay. Phew, I thought they used the Air Blast. Okay, no, they learned it. We can get up to four Vampire Warriors from, from meeting uh, the Vampires down below. Okay, good. Boots. Okay, what is your harpy? Uh, no. Okay, we're doing okay. It, does, it looks like... Let me slow it down a little. It looks like if we go down to where the golems are... Oh, you know what we're going to do? Oh, wait, what are you doing? Why are you here? Why are, why are you down here? I don't, I don't have any dig commands. Okay, let's see what happens with figs. You know what we're going to do is we're going to zone... Uh, where is it? 
Uh, forbid zone. Okay, we're going to forbid here to keep any of our guys from from going there. But we're also going to build an eyeball right here. So we keep an eye on those adamantine golems. Okay, it does look like they're not attacking us. So we got a little bit of a reprieve. So I'm going to be a little less nervous because it looks like they're not coming up. So great, so great. So what we're going to do is we're going to let our artificer create all this stuff. We can pick up the pace. We're going to let our artificer create all this stuff. We're going to equip whoever we can. I'm going to now decide to be a little bit pickier with our troops. And then we're going to do what I said we should do, which is... Okay, we don't want the vampire warrior in there. We are going to do what I said we should do. And did I just set this to new team? No. And go and increase our malevolence level because then that will allow us to get like two-handed weapons or magical weapons or master sorcery and just put us in a better position to uh, to fight those adamantine golems because we definitely were were overmatched there okay we don't want the uh, vampire warrior in there because we're going to go out but we can set a guard space for the vampire warriors let's go down where do we care most i think we care here so let's go zones, guard area one, and we'll put it right there. And then we will go to vampire warrior, uh, all type, and oh, no, 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 sorry, activity, guard zone. There we go. So now vampire warriors will go to the guard zone. What are you? Extra damage against non humanoids? Oh, and extra spell damage potential. That is ideal. That's going to be a great addition. Okay, let's get back up here to level two. Actually, let's go to level one. And, oh, let's go to level one, see how our artificer's doing. Okay, they're done making their stuff. They are. Okay, so now we're gonna lock this door. We're gonna unlock this door and we should see imps come along. Yes, very nice. Now we're gonna lock this door. That worked perfectly. Now let's check First, we're going to go assign gear. Okay, let's go back to normal speed. Do you have a better weapon? Hmm. I'm not expecting you to be attacking, so we're not going to worry about that. In fact, let's do... Oh, no, you want a wooden staff. Um, actually, that does raise the question what I want on Clarice. I guess that's okay. Let's, yeah, I guess it's okay. We'd rather have our warriors. Yeah, all this adamantine stuff. Okay, so this warrior, Gamba, is currently our, our kind of lead warrior. Because they have 41 damage. And they're, they're, they haven't even reached their training limit, so that's going to get up to 43, I believe. And they've got really good defense, 54 defense total. We just need more warriors. Let's pick up the pace. Oh, and let's make sure everybody has quarters. These quarters are not assigned to anyone. Oh, wait. Well, we're not going to assign the vampire to there. Let's make sure. Yeah, okay, the other vampire died, so we're going to assign these quarters to this one. Quarters for... Uh, fine. You know what, Clarice? You can have quarters. Okay, just assigning quarters to everyone. Yeah, you already have quarters. You already have... Okay, so all the rest of these guys already have quarters. Yeah, perfect. 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 Don't need another artificer. We do want to double check that everybody has equipment. So let's go to our priest. You have iron stuff and a sword. And you are getting iron stuff. You do not need... Well, wait. Didn't, was it the boots or the gloves that were super cheap to make? Let's go find out. It was the gloves. Okay, so everybody can have gloves. We're fine with that. Oh, oh, we've got more adamantine now, too. Well, let's create another sword, another armor... 
another helm. And what the heck? We'll do gloves too. Okay. Ah, uh, what's this? Resistant to fire, flying entertainer. Okay, sure. Goblin warrior. No, I, I can't manage drunkenness. Disarm straps. Plus eight against humans. I mean, not terrible. Fine. Fine. We need the warriors anyway. It is interesting that this artificer goes more slowly. Maybe it's because we're making uh, maybe it's because we're making adamantine and that just takes more effort. Okay, uh, we need to assign quarters. You need a quarters. You have quarters. Ah, you know what we need? Is this assigned yet? No, let's build a coffin. It's kind of funny that coffins are under living when they are clearly not for the living. They are for the undead. And we're going to assign this, these quarters to Vizvan. These are already assigned to Marku. Yeah, perfect. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's... Well, I'm not even going to do these quarters yet. Okay, so this was water over here. So I'm going to get rid of these. And then did I notice that we are out of imps? Yes. So we need to get more imps. Okay. We're just going to stay with the standard four. Our vampires are set to guard. Yep, this one's guarding right now. This one's training. We really like to see it. We don't need any artificers. In fact, I think I can tell it auto-reject artificers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we still we still have room for three more. So we're gonna hold out a little bit. Oh, are you done making all your stuff? You are. Okay. We're locking this door. We're unlocking this door. There we go. Everybody's got everything. We're gonna lock that door and unlock this one. Everything's going great with this artificer. Not gonna do harpies, although. You know, harpies would not be bad, honestly, because we could have used the archery in that adamantine golem battle. Well, we have to a degree accomplished our goals for this mission, or for this, excuse me, for this episode, uh, in that we did create the bedrooms that I was talking about right at the beginning, and we did go find some adamantine. So the next step is going to be to go out to the world map and fight some bad dudes. But I think we're going to leave that for next episode. I mean, we're, we're, we've recovered pretty well. We're in pretty good shape. Oh, here comes a warrior. Plus eight against defense against non-humanoids. Well, that's great. That's great. Okay, but yes, we're going to call this an episode. I don't want to run it too long. Thank you so much for your viewership and your support. I really love all the comments that everybody's putting or providing on this playthrough and uh, on this series. And please remember to have your pet spayed or neutered. <laughs>